For this project, we decided to calculate the average force a person applies to a lacrosse ball when throwing it in a circular arc. As you can see here, Ted is using his top hand on the stick as the point of rotation by keeping it fixed in place while his bottom hand applies a torque to the stick. Here we have a rough depiction of a lacrosse ball being thrown by a lacrosse stick. As you can see, it is rotating in a circular arc around a point on the stick and is released at the top of the arc. Using Tracker, we calculated its linear velocity at the top of the arc to be 15.6 meters per second. We also know that the mass of the ball is 0.145 kilograms. The radius from the ball to the point of rotation is 0.508 meters, and Ted applied a force to the ball by rotating it over 0.129 seconds before it was released. Given this information, we can use the kinematics and dynamics lens to calculate the average force Ted applied to the ball because the ball changes its position over time. So we know that the radius is 0.508 meters, and we know that the velocity after the ball was released is 15.6 meters per second. Using these two values, we can find the angular velocity because velocity equals radius times angular velocity. And after we do the calculations, we get 30.7 radians per second for the angular velocity. And using the change in angular velocity over time, we can find the angular acceleration. Because the ball starts from rest, we know that the change in angular velocity is just 30.7 radians per second. And if we use the angular acceleration times the moment of inertia, we can find the torque. Torque also equals the force times radius. So if we divide torque by the radius, we get the average force. The entire equation written out would be the average force equals mass times radius squared over velocity divided by radius over change in time all over radius. And the simplified equation would just be mass times velocity over change in time. Notice here that the simplified equation Emma found is the same as force equals change in momentum over change in time. So a momentum lens could easily be used to find this answer as well which gets us 17.5 newtons. Possible sources of error for our experiment could include wind resistance, which would affect our velocity calculated at the top, tracker making a slight error in its calculations, which would also affect the velocity or potentially the time over which the ball was thrown, and finally the shifting of my point of rotation, which was my hand. We hope you enjoyed learning a bit about the physics of a lacrosse throw. Thank you and have a nice day.